Oh my gosh, is that a bass? If this video gets 1,000 likes, I will release challenge number two where I only come out here with two items and attempt this survival fishing challenge. Today, what we're gonna be doing is a survival fishing challenge, guys. This is my first one ever. I'm super pumped for it, but before we even get this video started, I would actually like to give a shout out to First State Fishing because I actually saw his survival fishing video and I was like, this is so cool. This is awesome. You know, it's something that I could go do and I just thought it would be really, really fun. So for this first survival fishing challenge I plan on making a few of them I get to pick three items and the three items that I actually picked was one a knife two a fishing hook and three fishing line so we have no rod no reel no bait we're gonna have to figure that out today figure out how we're gonna catch these fish and it's gonna be really fun I'm excited to take you guys along this journey for the other episodes what's gonna end up happening is the second episode I'm gonna dial it down to two items I get to bring and then the third episode is going to be one item I actually get to bring. So it's going to be a challenge, guys. We're going to work our way into this, and it's going to be awesome. One last thing I would like to say, Thursday, which is the upcoming video, I actually have the giveaway winners that are going to be announced for the $500 giveaway that I ran. And also, I'm going to be making a video over the baits in the back of my truck, so be sure to stay tuned to watch that video. Let's go ahead and get this challenge started. So we actually have our fishing line right here. Super inexpensive, I actually got at Walmart. Got my knife that I'm gonna be using and also my little itsy bitsy hook I'm gonna be using for this challenge. But the most important thing that we're gonna need is a fishing rod. Let's go get it. I am just gonna bring my knife for right now while I'm looking for a fishing rod. Let's kinda go, let's go up here in the woods. If you guys are wondering what's in that bag, it's just my camera equipment. Let's see what we can find that'd be most ideal for a fishing rod. Obviously, we're gonna be looking for a stick because I do not know of anything else that we could use for a fishing rod. So we need to find the best looking, sexiest stick that's out here. We need something that's going to be able to bend a little bit, just slightly. Because if you look at these sticks right here, like these can be good if they're strong, but all oh, these are so weak. As you can tell, right when I step on it, it's breaking right away. We gotta find something that's a little bit different than those. See, that stick's pretty tough. I do want something a little bit longer than that though. That's, that's kind of pitiful. This would be most, oh yeah. See how this one bends a little bit guys? It's like not gonna snap obviously. I'm gonna actually have to cut this one right off. This looks pretty solid, not gonna lie. See if I can snap this. Let's see. Honestly guys, this is very ideal for what I need. If I break off this top end, I don't know how that would be. Like this rod right here, that is very long. If I had, yeah, that's actually perfect. Wow, honestly guys, that is pretty wicked looking. I'm just planning on placing this in the water. Like I'm really not planning much on it. This is not gonna have enough backbone right here, obviously. Let's see where it does, right, right about here. We're gonna have to pop that off. If I can figure out a way to put the line on the end of this, honestly, this would be perfect. I can hold it like that. I can lift up on the fish. Hopefully we don't end up, honestly, it would be awesome if we can hook a monster bass today. But uh, I think this is gonna work for a fishing pole. Not gonna lie guys, it, it looks very, very weird. But this is gonna give us a little, I got pretty decent reach on it. I can place this in the water. If I stand out here on this edge, I do have fishing lines so I can leave a good bit to toss like this and just kind of flip it in the water. Honestly, I think it's gonna work guys. Because since I'm not gonna be running the line through, I think this is gonna work on the end right here. I would normally cut this off if it had eyelids, but I do not. So I'm gonna just leave it on the end right there. We're gonna try it out and see what happens. Tying this hook on right now. I think I figured out a way to get this line on here. So guys, this is what we have going. I do not think it's gonna be bad. So we got this hook right here. Yeah, easily. Oh, it's a done deal, guys. It's a done deal. I actually got the line just tied right onto the end right here. Since it has this little little piece right here on the stick, I could just tie it right there and I don't think it's gonna, it ain't slipping nowhere. But gosh, guys, this is perfect. This is gonna be perfect for the challenge. Let's see what we can find for some worms over here. I'm gonna be honest, guys. I really didn't think it was gonna be this hard to find worms. I thought that was gonna be the easy part. Our first worm, guys. 
little baby. Look how small that one is. But that's gonna work. Just in case this fish are super aggressive, <laughs> and we're gonna need more than a few worms, because this challenge could go wrong in many different ways, and I'd probably wouldn't like if I left these behind and I could have actually used them. So I'm gonna grab them either way. Oh, there's a baby little snail. Oh my God, guys, we found the jackpot. We found the jackpot, guys. God, these things are the most hyper worms I've ever seen. We got one. We got three worms now, guys. Four worms. Uh-oh, that's the kind that we need right there. There's another one, where'd he go? You're not hiding from me, buddy. Another little baby. All right, guys, so we've actually found about five worms. Also, some of those little centipedes. We're gonna use those as well. There's a bunch of smaller fish over there. There's bass brim over in this corner. So we're about to go try our homemade survival fishing rod made out of that stick in the line and the hook. We're gonna put the bait on there. Let's go see if we can catch some fish on it. All right, guys, just got over to my area where I actually know there's a lot of fish. We're gonna hook this thing up. All right, guys, I tried to use one of the centipedes. It just seemed to not work. So we're gonna hook this bad boy up, this little worm. He's an active one. Do it for the video, boy. Just, just help me out real quick. All right, guys, we got this active little worm on here. Got my fishing pole. Guys, let's give this first shot. There's a bass right there. I actually see him. Here we go. There's one looking at it. Eat it. Oh, he took my worm, guys. Oh my God, I have a little piece on. We need to load this bad boy up with another worm. Let's see if we can catch one this time. They like to be little jokers. Oh my God, there's so many around it. Got him, yes guys, yes, yes. First fish of the survival fishing challenge. Just a little sunfish guys. Oh my God, that was awesome. He took my worm, but that is okay. First fish of the day of the survival fishing challenge. Beautiful little sunfish, look at him right there. Look at that guy. We're gonna see if we can catch some more guys. He did take my worm, but we do have some more. If we have to, we'll go find some more anyways. Here you go guys, first little fish. Here she goes. Yes, guys, I'm freaking stoked. That is awesome. First fish of the survival fishing challenge. We're gonna try to catch some more guys. I'm gonna throw another worm on the hook and hopefully we'll end up getting us a bass this time. It's time for big juice mama right here. Big juicy. We're gonna put her on the hook right now. That should catch a toad now, guys. There's no excuses for this one. Got him, yes. I barely even had anything on that hook, guys. <laughs> fish number two. This is awesome. It's actually starting to rain a little bit, but that is okay. We are not going anywhere. Fish number two, guys. Beautiful little guy. I really want to catch us a bass, but we're going to have to go find some more bait. And it just started raining. I guess that's what makes this a challenge. See you, buddy. All right, guys, that is two fish so far. It's only two baby sunfish, but I really want to catch a bass, but we're actually out of bait, so we have to go search for some more worms. So I'm going to do that real quick. Just came to the other side of the pond, and we're going to be searching for some worms, and then we're going to go back over there and hopefully catch some more. Those guys are smart, man. They just pulled my worm right off, and I actually hooked them pretty good. It's just those fish are so small, and the hook is not the best for them. We're going to find some more bait right now, and then we're going to go catch some more. I'm going to start digging in my little money hole again, because I found a lot right here. I know there's more. Oh, yeah. Money worm, baby. Got another one. And another one. Just found two, one. Found another one. God, we are stacking up right here, guys, very quick. Then we found one more, guys. I think that's gonna be good for the rest of the day. Uh-oh, I see one. It's a bass. It's a bass, oh my God, guys. That was like a freaking two pound bass. Oh my gosh. Little cheap hooks, guys. That was literally a two pound bass right there that I just lost. I, I had him pinned for just quite a second and he came off. That was our first bass strike, guys. I wanna see if I can get back in there and catch one. We have to catch a bass before this challenge ends, but that's, that's good right there. If we can get one, I don't care the size. That would just be awesome. Oh my gosh, is that a bass? That is a bass, guys. Oh my gosh, it's a bass and you guys won't believe it. I actually caught it on just the hook. There we go, guys. We got this little tiny bass. Look how small he is. Oh man, that is awesome, guys. Let's get a pretty little release on this little baby guy. See you, buddy. Hope he grows to be 10 pounds. Guys, that was freaking sweet. I'm finally looking to catch a bass. And I literally catch it on the hook. Not even the worm, just the hook. And that just shows this. I cannot believe this sunfish. We're gonna outsmart that bass in that situation. Yeah. 
Yes! <laughs> Fish number four. Look at that little guy, guys. Oh my gosh. That is freaking awesome. Here's a little guy. Guys, this is a very good worm. There's a few fish right there. God, right away, that's a better one. That is the best one of the day by far. Nothing monstrous, but gosh, to catch this on a stick, guys, I'm telling you, and just to do this and to build this rod and that whole deal is just really cool in general, guys. It's really fun either way. Beautiful little guy, look at the colors on him. That is awesome. Just to catch that on a stick in general and just to say that you've done that, it's just, freaking sick I believe that's fish number five nothing really big but this is definitely the biggest one of the day that is going to conclude this challenge guys thank you guys so much for watching i hope you guys enjoyed it as much as i did i had an absolute blast out here if you guys enjoyed it be sure to click that like button if this video gets 1000 likes i will release challenge number two where i only come out here with two items and attempt this survival fishing challenge thank you guys so much for the support if you guys could please leave a comment below on what challenges you would like to see next that would be amazing and stay tuned for sunday where i release the giveaway winner for the 500 dollars giveaway and also where i'll show you guys all the tackle in the back of my truck thank you guys so much for the support be sure to click the card up below and check out the next video i'll catch you guys in the next one